make you glad tonight for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's wonderful. He's a good God tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I can't find nobody, Brother Otto, can do me like Jesus. Amen. Can't find nobody that's any better to me than Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if we ain't happy tonight, there's something wrong with us. Amen. Yes, we need to be a happy people. Amen. Amen. Glad we're on our way tonight. Praise the Lord. We ought to be uh, really stirred up. Amen. Because, amen, that, that, that we know who he is. Brother Curry preaching and said, uh, you need to know who he is. Amen. Amen. How many know, knows this? That really folks need to know who Jesus is. Amen. When you find out who he is, you know who yourself is. How many believe that? you got to find out who he is. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe Peter know the Lord. Because, you know, when they come and, and Jesus said, uh, uh, who do you say I am? And, and some of them said, uh, he's Elijah. And some of them said, he's a prophet. Jeremiah, John the Baptist, or whatever. He said, who do you say he is? He said, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he, and, and he looked at Peter and said, Peter, flesh and blood ain't revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. Brother, I believe when we find out who Jesus is, amen, praise the Lord, we'll know for self, for surely, who we are. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. How many knows that tonight? Amen. How many knows tonight where you stand with God tonight? Amen. We've got to know for self, brother, who we at with God. I, I was thinking like this tonight. I want to be pleasing to God. I want to please God and what I'm doing. I don't want to please some man or please somebody else, but I I want to please God and what I'm doing. Amen. I want to know that I'm in the place where I can please God and be pleasing to what I do for God. Thank you, Jesus. Not have to twist my arm to get me to do it, but I, I want to do it willingly, with a heart, and out of a mind of the Spirit to do something for God. Most folks today, you see, amen, is leaning the wrong way, that's the reason you have to twist your arm. Uh -huh. Do everything else, brother. Try to get them to do something for God. But brother, when you get a mind made up that you want to do something for God, and you want to reach out for God and do something for God, buddy, nobody won't have to make you do it. Amen. How many believe that tonight? Amen. You know, I, I believe this, praise the Lord. Nobody didn't have to twist Jesus' arm to get him to go to the cross. Nobody didn't have to make him, brother, to go to the cross to shed the blood. He done it willingly. Praise God. How many knows that tonight? Amen. Amen. You see, if you have to all the time make somebody do something or beg somebody into doing something, brother, amen, then there's something wrong somewhere or another in life. Amen. If you have to push somebody out to do something, amen, I believe it's time, brother, to be pleasing to God. Thank you, How many believe that tonight? You know the Bible, I was reading the book of Proverbs today, and the Bible says when our ways pleases the Lord, he said he'd make his enemies, Brother Gary, at, at peace with us. Amen. 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 And you know, praise God tonight, when we come to a place, brother, and when we get to the place where and our ways begins to go to please God, then the enemy's going to cease, brother, and he's going to be at peace with you. Amen. I believe when you come around where the enemy's in, they like to shut their mouth, brother, and behave themselves because you're around where they are. How many believe that tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Wave your hand to the Lord. Praise him tonight. Will you? I got something tonight I want to preach to you. And uh, I believe this will help you. I really believe that this right here message will will help somebody tonight and uh, if we'll do this he'll do something first yes it'll help us amen it's found in the book of matthew uh twenty six chapter and uh 
Start reading from the 31st, 34th verse. And I, I want you to just kind of take heed and listen tonight. And, and I, I, this message tonight, I, I believe tonight that God spoke me to the day when I was praying. And, uh, you know, I always try to pray about a message and say, God, what would you give me to preach? I don't like to, you know, get in my own self. And if, if we get the word that uh, we think we can just preach anything without being the will of God. I believe we've got to find the will of God, brother, before we can do anything for God. How many believe that? And listen how this reads. Jesus said unto him, Burley, I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crowed, thou shalt deny me twice. Peter said unto him, Throughout, shall die with thee, Yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with him unto the place called Gethsemane. And said unto the disciples, Sit here while I go yonder and pray. While I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and, and and very heavy. Then said unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, sorrowful, even unto death. Said, Tie here and watch with me. And he went a little further, and he fell on his face, and he prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but thy will. And he come unto the disciples and, and finding them asleep, said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? He says, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptations. The spirit is, is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away and he prayed the second time and he prayed, saying, My father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. I want to preach just a little bit tonight and may help you. We need to know the will of God. How many knows that tonight? We need to find the place that would be the will of God, brother, for us to do. Praise the Lord. I know this tonight and you know it. There's a lot of things we don't have to find the will of what to do. You know, somebody said, well, do you think it's God's will for me to go to church? You know, the Bible already tells us to go to church, brother. How many believe that tonight? Some folks will say this, and it gets me. They'll say, well, if it's God's will, I'll be there. You know, it's God's will that we assemble ourselves together in heavenly places and to praise God and lift him up. Amen. Ain't no such a thing, brother, if it's God's will, I'll go to church or not. Amen? I believe, praise God, it's God's will. And every time the house of God is open, brother, to it, I believe it's God's will to be there, don't you? I believe this, praise God tonight, if we'll get to the place that we can find God's will, brother, amen, we won't have so much trouble with the old flesh man. How many believe that tonight? You see what's wrong, praise God. We ain't finding the place to be obedient to God, brother, in the spirit, amen? You see, the Bible said if we be obedient, we can eat the good of the land, brother. And I found the 28th chapter of the book of uh, Duty Romans. I was reading here and searching in there. And he said if we come obedient to him and keep his commandments, his statute, he said he'd bless us coming in. He'd bless everything we put our hand to. He'd bless our seed. He'd bless us, amen, that we could be able to bless somebody else. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. Now, if it's left up to me, praise God, I probably pray, God, listen here, amen, couldn't give nothing, but God given to me, I can give to somebody else. Amen. 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 You see, we've got it all mixed up, brother, pray God, when we come to the place that we break our own will, brother, and 
and say, God, I want your will to be done in my life. Now, if I was just coming here to please Brother Gary, I was coming here to please some of you, brother. Amen. Brother, listen here. I believe that God ain't pleasing with it. But I'm going to tell you something tonight. I'm coming here because, brother, he's a good word here. He's a move of the Spirit here. He's a power of God and the anointing of God here, brother. Amen. And I want to follow the will of God. Some folks, brother, has been led the wrong way. Praise God. I believe this. Praise God. Uh, if you follow the Spirit, brother, you will not go wrong. How many believe that tonight? The reason why, praise God, buddy, that so many people is running from what they need, brother, they ain't finding the will of God in their life. Amen. Praise God. I believe you've got to break the flesh. I believe you've got to get the flesh, brother, under subjection to the Holy Ghost, and then you'll obey what God said. How many believe that tonight? Look here. Look at this. Jesus, praise God. He never had to have nobody to whoop him, beat him, and take him to the cross. Brother Otto, he went on his own will, brother. He broke this old will of the flesh, brother. Amen. When he went into the garden of Gethsemane, brother, amen, he went there to pray, and he said, Nevertheless, I, I, not my will, but thine to be done. Amen. What was he doing, brother? Amen. Some folks say he died on the cross, brother. I said he died in the garden of Gethsemane, brother. We will never have the faith, brother, we need to have until we break this old will of the flesh. Amen. 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 Let me tell you something tonight, what God showed me. We have got, brother, we have got a nature about us. We have got Adam nature about us. And if we ain't awful careful, brother, ever which way we lean, brother, that's what we're going to be. How many knows that? You see, praise God, there's many, many avenues that the devil's got to drag you down and to pull you away from God. There's many, many spirits in the land today, brother, amen, in the old flesh, brother, that's trying to pull you away. The Bible says this tonight, if any man be, uh, uh, be a uh, pulled away or drawn away, he's drawn away by his own loss. I've got to break this old wheel of Jewish spirit, brother, to get in the wheel of God, brother, and see something happen this hour. We absolutely, brother, have got to come to a place uh, that we've got to break our will about it. We've got to get our own nature out of the way and let God come in. How many believe that tonight? Did you know that everything in the beast of the field, the, uh, the, uh, the birds in the air, everything at the end, brother, has got a nature about it. It's got a nature about it. We have a nature about us, amen? But you know what the nature of us is? Ever since the day of Adam, brother, when Adam fell in the garden, the garden out there, brother, where he could have dominion over everything, we've had a nature about us. Amen. You're born in sin. Yes, sir, you're born in sin. You can't help what it is, amen. I don't care how good you are, you're still yet born in sin. How many knows that? Amen. I was telling my wife today, I said, you know what we done? I said, we took them boys to Sunday school and we taught them from the cradle up. But I said, you know what I see about? I said, we never did tell them they were saved. And I said one thing about it. I said what people do, praise God, they tell youngins they're saved when they're 10 and 12 years old. Amen, brother, listen here. Amen, I'll tell you something. Uh, unless you repent, praise God, buddy, and do it like everybody else did, you ain't saved. Hallelujah to God. I don't care if you've been a Christian, amen, ever since you
Jewish. The old saying, knee high to a duck, brother. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if you don't come the knee right way, brother, you'll never be saved. <laughs> See, the flesh wants to tell us that our youngins are saved from down here all the way up. I believe a boy or girl when they're little, maybe the size of this boy here, I believe this with all of my heart. I believe if he go out of here, praise God, and God would call him out of here before that, or he comes to be accountability of knowing right from wrong, brother, I believe he'd be all right with God. But, buddy, when you get big enough, at 12 or 13 or 14 or whatever, and you know right from wrong, brother, amen to God, brother, amen, you need to be saved. Amen. Let me tell you something. What's wrong? We don't want to break our will, Brother Otto, to find the will of God. Now, it's God's will, you shout. It's God's will, you speak a tongue. It's God's will, you raise your hands and praise God. It's God's will, you clap your hands. It's God's will, you run around the rustling. It's God's will, you jump and shout. It's God's will to say amen to the word of God. But you know what? What's a bothering us is this. Here's exactly what's eating at us. That message he preached over a year ago is what's bothering some of us. Them little old foxes is spoiling the vine, brother. Praise God. Them little old things, praise God, buddy. It's what's dragging the thunder, praise God. Up in a time and a hot time, brother, to wake up and break the wheel of that old place. If you don't pray, you don't seek God and break the will of that old flesh, you'll never do nothing for God. Amen. Now let me tell you something. When church time comes, that's not a time to go to malls. It's not a time to go shop all day long, brother. Hey man, when church time goes, lay back and say, man, I'm too tired, I'm going to stay home tonight.
Somebody said, well, somebody look at me from running. I don't care how much they look at me from running. I'm going to run anyway. If they get in there run a little bit, brother, hey amen, break that old wheel of the flesh, brother. We can have church again. Yeah. One woman told me, she said, uh, my husband's keeping me from going to church. I said, well, maybe God will fix it one of these days. I said, maybe God will fix it one of these days. Yeah. So help me, brother, listen. He grew old and died. My wife called him up, called her up and said, look at here, we'll pick you up right by the side of the road if you want to go to church. You know what she had? Here's what she used after he died. She said, you know what? Said, I went to one church and said, they told me this. I had to pay my tithes and said, you know what? And she said, I don't get hard enough to do me no way and I'm not going to go and give my tithes to nobody. I'll just stay home. You see the old flesh. It needs to break the will of that, brother, and get in the will of Father, brother, and do what God said to do. here, praise God. I'm going to tell you something tonight, praise God. And I'm not on tides preaching, but I'm going to tell you something. If everybody coming here at this church, brother, would pay 10% of their tithe, brother, I'll guarantee you we can raise and be the richest church, brother, around here anywhere. I mean, no part of saying, brother. Amen to God, brother. I'm telling you something tonight. If we'll break our will, brother, and get in the will of God, brother, or something will happen to us. You can't live part of the gospel. You can't take part of it and leave the other part off. You've got to eat it all. Whatever it says, you've got to do it. Let me please that praise God. Amen. When we learn, brother, to break our will, when we learn to come obedient to God, brother, and God's going to shine through us. When we learn to do what God said, brother, we'll be able to go out the hedges and highways and compel them to come in. I'm going to tell you something tonight. If we don't break our will, get this old flesh out of the way, here's what will happen. Some more down the road, you'll quit on God. Amen. Amen. Some more, you'll walk away from God. Yes, man. Amen. I'm not looking for a place to walk away from Him. I'm looking for a higher height than a deeper depth than Him. I'm looking for more of God than you. You know what I look for to happen at Wheeler Branch? I look for the sick to be healed. I look for folks to come out of the wheelchairs. I look for the power of God, brother, to move in this place. If we get any more from God and who we are, we're going to have to get up and get it and break the wheel of the place. If you get the Holy Ghost, brother, you'll get it like everybody else did. You'll bend this old flesh and break it, brother. You'll fast and you'll pray. And you'll seek God, brother, until you get that Holy Ghost. How many knows that? Praise God. I know one thing. Praise God, brother. If we get to that place where we bend and break this old flesh, brother, we'll walk in God's will. Amen. You know what? I've been hearing that message of weed them out. I pray to God, buddy, he gets all the crap grass and weeds and all the junk and everything out of the church. And now, brother, we'll have a church, hey man, that's fixing to go out of here. How many know what I'm talking about? Now, brother, you can't bend to the will of the old flesh. You can't walk to the old flesh way. It'll pull you under. If you ain't got the desire to go to church, then you better be able to get that desire. Here's what it is. Some people don't want to be around where the Spirit of God's moving. They're scared. They're scared that somebody will bring something out of them. I believe it's high time to rise, brother, and say, get out of this old boat and I'm getting in the one that's right. Amen. What's wrong? We can't break our own will of ourselves. 
because, brother, we come to be the old Adam nature way, brother. We're going to do it whether it's right or not. Amen. Pray God. One man said, I'll tear my bones down and I'll be a bigger one. That's what's wrong with this world today, brother. They're tearing their bones down and they're building bigger ones without us and God, brother. They're building the will of God. If you got enough income coming in to take care of it, why do you want to heap up some more? It's all going to burn anyway. Arrange your hands and pray to God. Why do you want to get more and get more? I've never seen nobody yet, brother, or what didn't have a fifty or sixty dollar thousand dollar bank account, brother, didn't want to heap some more up. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't nothing but the will of the old flash. I guess if I had a hundred thousand, I'd just shell you out fifty to build your house with. I'd say, here it is, free of charge. Hallelujah. How many know what I'm talking about? But some people will not break their own will, brother, to walk in the will of the Father. If God tells you something, now, you better walk in God's will. I want you to know one thing tonight, church. Uh, uh, Jesus never went into that garden. Amen, brother. Bain prayed God. He prayed, nevertheless, not my will, but thine to be done. Uh, uh, brother, listen here. When he got a hold, uh, he come back and told the disciples. Uh, he said, sleep on. Uh, amen. Pray God. He had hold of the right thing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Some of you can't even flap your wings in this hour you're living in. You think the devil's eating at you so hard you can't even flap your wings. I'm going to tell you something, brother. That devil's straight on my trail, but I got his head under my feet. I'm a stronger on his head under my feet, brother. He don't like nothing I've got. He don't like me, brother. And there ain't no love lost. Thank you, Jesus. You get in this right, brother, you love with the white shirts. You get in this right, pray and you'll love God's people. Uh, come on, pray God. You won't find an excuse to stay home. Uh, you ain't going to find no way to wait a lot of them pray God. You want to be here. Amen. Lord, we've been having some awful times here. You just lose an eye if you're staying home. Amen. Amen. I've seen them laying on the floor. God Almighty, I've seen the power of God move here. Amen. I can't hardly stand still when the Holy Ghost moves. What do we want to we yield to the flesh? What do we want to give over to the old flesh man, brother, and do the will of the flesh, brother? Why don't we pray, brother, until we get it under subjection to God? Amen. I woke up this mad woman. I said, are you going to church? No, sir. Said, uh, I just barely can't make it. I said, man, you ought to come to church. God will help you. Said, you know what? I can't only get out and get around. I can't only do nothing. This is the truth. Hey, man, he didn't want to break his whole will to the church, brother, and give it in to God and say, I want to go to church. Here's what me and my wife met him, praise God. We met him in the store, but he was pushing a buggy wide open. His wife putting groceries in. I said, there he is. If he's able to push groceries, amen, he's able to go get groceries, brother. He's able to go to church. If he broke his own will, brother, amen.
preacher's spirit will get a hold of them and they'll preach every night, brother. And if they got truth, that's what's wrong with this nation, brother. If we'll get out of that, brother, and get the will of God, brother, we'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, we all have to go fishing once a week. Uh -huh. But why go on church tonight? Amen. 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 I had a church yeah. that had the biggest carp is, yeah. that had the biggest, the biggest one you can catch in the field. Amen. Hallelujah to God, brother. I'm going to tell you something, praise God, what's wrong with it. If we break our will, brother, amen, we can sit here for two hours and listen to the word of God, brother. Amen. Can't sit two hours and list you under the anointing. Go and sit in that tree stand all day. Watch for the biggest horns coming through. Yes. Whoa! Go and sit, pray God, 12 hours. Amen. Freeze your feet and hands uh, and do it out everything you have uh, and say, God, see me too. Yes. I hope if you lay out church, I hope he never sees you too. Hallelujah to God, brother. I hope he never sees you once too if you put that before God. Raise your hands and bless God tonight. Hallelujah to God. There's many avenues in the old flesh will pull you down. There's many times, but the old flesh will weary you away and try to pull you or lure you away from God. The devil's always got a trap laid for somebody. But buddy, listen here. When you can break the old will of the flesh and say, I'm going to church. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But listen here. Amen. I believe this with all of my heart tonight. If folks will get this old flesh under subjection to God, brother, we'll have a church, brother, on fire for the Lord. If everyone in here that ain't got the Holy Ghost, brother, will get up and start praying for the Holy Ghost, yeah. brother, they'll get it. If you think you've already got it, amen, you'll never get it. Praise God. If you ain't got it, you think you've already got it, you'll never I said, God, I want it. Brother, I believe when you want something, you are want it. I believe this to God tonight. I'll tell you what I believe. I, I believe if folks want a brand new car and peace, finish and everything, brother, get that. And the Holy Ghost is more important than anything else. He'll save up money for Christmas time. Amen. Lay it up, brother. Amen. Why don't we pray, God? Amen. Give our money to God's man, brother. And give Homer sees him and said he has a bunch stuck here hill. Bought him a new car. We sit your tight wads in the flesh, we won't give nothing. Come on, pray to God, don't get mad at me, I'm telling the truth. I probably some of these good to give here, but there's a lot of folks but won't give nothing. I, I raise your hand, bless God tonight. I, I preach in churches, pray to God, buddy, where it didn't hardly get enough to buy my gas back home. Amen, brother. That old will of the place sitting there. I let him preach and flap his wings and preach his heart out. I, I'm not giving nothing. But if you don't break the will of the flesh, you'll never have faith in God. Amen. If you don't bring it under subjection to the Holy Ghost, you'll never walk in a place with victory with God. Huh? If you want to do your own thing, go your own path, and somebody trying to tell you, and you don't want to break your own will, you know who you wind up? You wind up making your bed in hell. To say you're not, but it's your truth anyway. You've got to come to the place, brother, where you break your own will and get the mind of Jesus and let him talk to you and tell you what to do. Amen. I hear the message have you got the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost got you. Uh, Boy, that really stuck with me good. Yeah. I said, I want that. I'm going to listen to that again, I'm going to listen to it again, and I'm going to get it again and listen to it again. How 
hallelujah to God. Brother, listen here. If we get that in our spirit, brother, pray God, we'd do something about it after a while. And get it going out there no better than the old place all the time. You know what folks want? They want somebody to preach them happy every night. Uh, yeah. Preach us happy. Preaches, he's a merciful God. He's a loving, kindly God. We don't want nobody to preach on their own flesh. Huh? Hurt. Huh? Amen. Praise God tonight. Brother, listen here. I tell you what the Holy Ghost will do. He'll get every old habit out of you. It'll stop you from popping them cigarettes. It'll stop you, praise God, from going naked, and cutting the grass with your shirt off. It'll straighten you up, brother. Brother, you let it grow up around 
It'll make nothing but a nub. Amen. Got a lot of nubbins in the church. All right. We'll get out of here, Thank you, Lord. Come on. Let me tell you folks something. Some of you folks is huffing and puffing here because a man preaches an hour and a half for two hours. <laughs> Come on, if you break your will, brother, you could sit under a pole and preach at 12 o'clock and a man fell out the window, brother, praise God, and Paul went down that resurrection, brother, and came back up and Paul preached the daylight. Amen. Amen. You preach the daylight, you probably won't have but four or five. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Brother, let me tell you something. If we'll break our will, brother, we'll love, praise God. We'll love the word of God, but we do praise God, but that old TV is setting for us. If we'll break our will, brother, and get it out of the way, brother, we'll quit doing whatever we're doing. Amen. I got a boost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a boost, brother. Thank God somebody give me a boost, brother. Thank God, listen here, pray God. When I come here and sit under this man, brother, I said, God, through the Holy Ghost, brother, and give me a boost, brother. I can't only shut up. I can't only wait and get up and preach in some of these churches. Yeah. Right. I don't care if we're stuck, if we're tough lots. I don't care if we're stuck. I don't care what the other prayer God. If God showed me to preach it, brother, and the blood wouldn't be hanging in my hands. Thank you, Lord. That man jumped up and shouted all over the church house last night. But when I got up to preach, you know what he done? He folded his wings in and out the door he went. If you're living on the south, you'll never make that. If you're living on the word of God, brother, you'll come through. hearing and hearing by the word of God. Brother, I've forgotten by the word. I'll tell you something, that's what we need to word, brother. They got all over the country here and there, Sister Linda. They got singing conventions. I'll tell you what they need. They need preaching conventions. Boy, I'll tell you something. If we break the wheel of this old flesh, we could do a lot better. Yes. We can wear a smile for Jesus. Amen. We wouldn't be coming in hanging our heads down. We'd be coming in saying, oh, 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 when they get ready to sing, I can get in. Thank God, but it's waiting, praise God, for the shout to come. It's waiting for the word to come. I've seen folks say, man, to God, brother, they can shout all over the church house, but when the word of God comes, it wouldn't be great to see, brother. When a man of God's on the floor to preach in some of these churches, brother, they cross clothes up on them. Yeah. Hey, man, God showed me, brother, if I fast and pray and I lay on my face and seek the Lord, brother, and God said he'd break every yoke for me. If I break this old wheel of the flesh, brother, and start walking in God's will, brother, every church out of wind, brother, the will of God will be done, and the yokes of hell will be broke. Amen, you Lord. Amen. 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 What do you think Jesus went to that garden for? He went in there to pray for the man, knowing he was going to the cross. Yes. Bible says Jesus knoweth all things. Brother, listen, when he got his old wheel broke, brother, and come subject to the will of the Father, brother, whatever the Father said, pray God, he's ready to do it. And you know what? Pray God, Jesus hurt like a, like a man. He suffered like, pray God, men you do. He carried all the sins up that mountain, brother, and was nailed to that old cross, brother, that we can live and go free. Thank God, but listen here, it wasn't a very beautiful sight, brother, that Jesus hanging on that old cross uh, and blood dripping down his back, brother, and running down the sides of his jaws. But he's paying that price for you. Amen. Uh, there was a bloody trail when I fell out. You hear me tonight? Thank God, brother, listen here. When they put a rope in the nails, his hand, brother, you feel that old hammer, a pound, brother, pray to God. I'm going to tell you something tonight. 
brother. He paid a great price for me and you, brother. We can leave the way of God. And some of us say, I wish I could take his place. He wasn't a man or woman in here that was worthy to take his place. He was without sin under salvation. How many of those that pray to God? He paid the price for me and you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for leaning towards the flesh as much as you do. Bless you, Lord. You ought to be ashamed of letting let the devil beat you out of going to church. The goodness of God, the evil of the word of God. Amen. Man, I can't hardly wait. Becky said she sits getting ready at 2 and 3 o'clock in the day. I said, what's the matter with you? She said, I'll be getting ready to go to church. Thank God, buddy. I wish to God, brother, that some folks had a zeal, brother. I pray God to get out and go. Hey, man, to God, I go to one church, brother. Every time I go there, I always be there perfect at 7 o'clock. Here they come dragging in 10 after, a 20 after, and some of them 15 to 8. I don't know. Get mad at me. It's the old flesh. Amen. Eat now. Yeah. I'll be good to stay home tonight. I can't get nothing home. Can you? Bless you, Lord. Maybe have a little quote for a while there. I can't get nothing home. Maybe sit down and eat for a little time. Go from the side of the prison later. Check it over again. Oh, what the one? Ain't even hungry. Come on, don't get mad at me. Amen to God. We have one prayer to God. If we see that prayer to God, and say, God, I'm going to kill the old flesh out. I'm going to get rid of the prayer to God. We are going to get rid of the prayer to God. I'm preaching on the flesh part. Yeah, all right. But you talk about a time when they all get their mind together and have the mind of Jesus because the Bible said, let this mind be in you, it was also in me. Thank God when we get the mind of Jesus, brother, and we all get up here to get in, pray to God, and say we coming to have a good time. We coming to bless God, brother, and to give somebody a blessing. And you know your anointing of you, brother, ain't just only for you, it's for somebody else. Yes, amen. amen. I hope you keep on saying you helping me. He sung about a big creek last night, and I'm going to tell you something. I can see just as much in that as day and night. What are you talking about? I'd like to hear a man singing in the spirit. Yeah, that's you know what I'm talking about. Brother, when you sing in the spirit, there's a difference. When you break this old wheel of preaching in the spirit, brother, it's a difference. I can tell the difference in Sister Missy. Her, 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 her singing, praise God, buddy. Amen. There's something coming out of it. Amen. Some people, praise God, buddy. Ain't much coming out of it. They break the wheel of praise. Amen. I'm telling you something, brother, if we'll break our will, if we've got our old self out of the way, brother, I told, amen, pray God, he'll rise inside of us, and we'll be so full of joy, pray God, buddy, that something will happen, pray God, if we'll get down to business, pray God, and pray, pray God, pull that old door to, and start praying that old closet, brother, amen, to God, God will break the will like that it was. Bible says the wife is sanctified by the husband, and the husband sanctified by the wife. If we get in that old closet and pray, and tell that old man, hear it, and that woman, hear it, brother, and we get in the spirit, brother, pray God, something will happen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You say praying don't do nothing. Praying moves God. Praying breaks the old will of the flesh. You know what we like? We like to sit all day. 
some folks like to sit all day, brother. How many it's time to get up off of your center and do something? How many believe that? Praise God. How many it's time to get out in the place where God can do something? You know what? Praise God. This is the truth, brother. I pray God. You know what Peter done? And Peter said, I'm going to fish. And, uh, and he went out and fished, brother, and took some more folks with him, and he fished all night long. And did not catch nothing. Huh? That's what's wrong with us. We're fishing all night long and we ain't catching nothing. Thank God, but let me tell you something. Pray God. Amen. When Jesus come along and said, Hey, Peter, he said, Casting it over on the right side. And Peter said, Lord, I, I told all night. I tried to catch something. He said, Nevertheless, by your word, I'll do what you said. You could fill this church up, and uh, then you'd have to call another man like Johnny Meads or somebody and fill him up. Uh, they had to call another boat and fill both boats and almost sinking, didn't they? Hey, Amen. Brother, listen here. If you do what the word says, brother, I said God will do something. Uh, if you break the will of the place, brother, and get the old place out of the way, then God can do something. Amen. And they will not do it. They got that old attitude, I'm going to do what I want to do. God's told people to get up and do what I tell you. The spirits talked to people and told them, said, do this. And they will not. They will not get away from the place. They will not move away from what's hurting my brother. They won't move away from the will of the place, but and do what God wants them to do. If God's telling you, get up and do something about it, brother, before you end up in the wrong place. Amen. You've got to obey God. Listen here. You listen to me. This boy is driving for all from over Kentucky to get over here and he's glad to get over here to hear the word of God. Huh? Why well, drive 50 miles, brother, this year? Hey, Amen. To get in a good church full of Holy Ghost is moving, wouldn't you? I don't want one of these dried up high places, brother, that the Holy Ghost won't move. I, I go beyond the little church and I preach, brother, every now and then. Every time I go over there, they're in the same rut. God told me today, he said, when you go back, he said, lay it on the line the next time. next time I come. I've let you off a whole lot now. I'm not going to spare you the next time. Huh? Come on, pray God. If people's in the rut, pray God. It ain't, this is the thing of it is, pray God. It ain't so bad being in the rut, brother. But the thing of it is, that just hanging around in that old rut and staying in the rut all the time. Why don't you get up and get out of it? Why don't you flap your wings on that tonight? Uh -huh. I'm preaching to you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Brother, listen, if there's something holding you back, uh, uh, getting the victory in God, brother, pray to God, it ain't a thing in the world but your own self, brother, that's causing you to do that. Everybody here at Whitney Branch holding you back. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody got no strings on me. Uh, if the Holy Ghost wants to shout me, I get up and shout. If God wants to move me, I'm going to get up and shout, brother, and do what God tells me to do. If God tells you here, wait a to lay hands on the sick, you better get up and do it. Amen. This man right here wants everybody to obey the Lord. Huh? Well, he's preached us for a year and a half. Thank God, I think we're coming through, don't you? I think we're coming through, David. Thank you, Lord. I think we're getting a zeal now to do something for God. I've seen the Spirit move so many times. Amen. Pray God. God just about ready. Pray God. But let's hear. Amen. He's just about ready to set some people's fields on fire. Amen. Pray God and drive that old place out of them. If you hang on to the place, it'll lead you to the wrong place. Amen. Amen. All right. He 
he said, straight is the gate and nigh is the way, and few there be that find him. Because broad is the way, brother, amen, and many that go therein. Amen. I'm looking for a straight and a narrow path, a good way, a wholeness way. Yeah. Like he said in the book of Isaiah, he said, this is a highway of wholeness, and nothing unclean is going to win. Amen. I tell you, if we'll break the will of the flesh, we'll walk in the power of God. Yeah. You know what Paul said? He said, I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. That's right. If you want to know something, you've got to get out and get it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Boy, he don't take you. He don't take you forever to have victory in God if you want to get it. Amen. Did you know that? There's so many, many people today. I see them down today, up the next day. Down this week, here when they come back, back down. Preach them out of the rut one time and they get right back in the rut. Amen. Can't live from Tuesday to Sunday without getting in the rut. Can't walk before God, brother, listen, with the mind of God from Tuesday to Sunday without getting in the rut. I'm going to tell you something tonight, brother. If you shut out the place, brother, and get in the power of God, brother, it'll bring you a vision to play where you want to go with God. I don't know what might come out of this church, brother. We may have four or five preachers, deacons and everything if we'll just get the old flesh out of the way. Lord God Almighty, brother, I'd like to see, I'd like to see so much shouting below the walls is shaking here. I'd like to see the power of God, brother. Amen. Both wheel them in with wheelchair and go back out shouting the victory. And go in the wheelchairs up. Amen. To God, brother, and have the victory, God, with you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to quit, boys, but I'm going to tell you something. If we yield to the flesh, we're going to lose out. If we don't, if we don't yield to the Spirit of God and believe God's Word. He said, when you pray, he said, believe what you pray is going to come to pass. I'm believing right here in Wayne Branch that this is going to be the best church in Logan County. I don't care. I brag on my church in the best one in Logan County. Hallelujah to God. we got the devil on the run, and he's alive and bother of it. I have to brag on Jesus. We've got the best pastor in Logan County. Thank you, Lord. so much of it. We ought to have a pastor appreciation some of these times. Come on, praise God. Amen. He's preached his heart up to us. Amen to God. But if I to pray and he on that mountain in the crack of daylight and going back there to get something to feed the sheep. Amen. Thank God for this. If the flesh has been bothering you so bad, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd slip out of my seat tonight. I'd slip out of that seat tonight and I'd say, I'm coming down here to pray. I don't care who looks at me or what they say about me. I'm coming to pray. Don't say you've got the victory, brother, if you ain't. If the flesh has been eating at you, I'd get up and come tonight and start praying. I'm talking to you.
want that kind of preaching. That would make a preacher that couldn't preach want to preach. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I kind of like what that pastor said down in Kentucky. He said, there's two kinds of preachers I don't like. He said, one that can't and one that can't. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I appreciate God that I want you. Amen, Lord. I appreciate it for what he's doing. I'm telling you tonight that I kind of felt like tonight that was un -un good. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, somebody look over today and tell them say that was un -un good. That's <laughs> Praise God. I appreciate it tonight, don't you? Amen. I hope tonight, everyone that's come, that you've been blessed. And the way I see it, if you didn't get blessed, it wasn't nobody's fault but your own. Uh, amen. Praise God. Amen. And I appreciate God for what he's doing in the hour that we live. You know, I, I believe that we are in the greatest time that's ever been known. I'm glad to be alive for my time. Praise God. For this is our day. Praise God to uh, rise up, mount up, and do something for God. And I, I tell you what, I don't believe we're the only church, but I know God's moving in with the branch. Amen. Praise God. There's, we're not the only church, but we're not the only people, but God's moving in this body of people. And we appreciate God for what Amen. He's doing. Amen. We love everybody that comes here and all of our visitors. We appreciate you for coming and being with us tonight. Praise God. If you don't have a home church, uh, you're welcome. Amen. Thank you. We're welcome to be a part. Amen. Man, I, I believe everybody needs a church, a home church. Yes, sir. Right. I believe they need some work. Get established. Amen. Where they can be established and where they can defend the word of God, Amen. where they can be a part of the move of a Bible. Yes, Amen. Praise Amen. God. Because uh, you know, if you don't go to church and you're not you're not under a pastorship, I believe tonight you can't grow. I believe you can't grow if you don't go to the only way sheep can grow is they gotta have a pastor that's leading them into a green pastures to where they can be fed to where they can grow. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen, church. And I appreciate God tonight for what he's doing around here. How many believe tonight that God's doing something in Whitley Branch? Amen. 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 You know, it just thrills my soul when we have preachers that come in here. And just the other day, uh, you all may remember Ricky Brown who preached here now on the step of faith. I mean to tell you, he just thinks this church is something else. Thank you, Lord. And I... I and that really, that's a blessing whenever you know other preachers are going out, amen, talking about what a good church you've got. Yes, Praise God. And you know what makes a church? It ain't a building. It's the people that make the church. It's you. When they're bragging on the church, they ain't bragging on this edifice. They're bragging on you. Praise God. And if we keep a good spirit and we'll pray and fast and seek God, amen, people will, I believe people will have to come. Amen. I believe mean, they won't have no other choice. I believe mean, there'll be something that'll draw. Amen. Praise God. This is real. Amen. I love you tonight, don't you? Amen. Praise God. We appreciate Brother Spirit tonight for preaching. It's been quite a while since he got to preach. I told him the other night he can preach. And he does a wonderful job. And yes. Brother Otto does a wonderful job. And we want Brother Otto to preach one night. Praise God. I mean, I don't want to be a... He ain't taken every night, but I tell you what, I do like to preach. Amen. Me, she looked at me tonight. And she, she looked over at me and said, I believe you're rubbing off on him. Well, I'm glad something's rubbing off. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. I believe something good's rubbing off. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. You know, it really excited me. Now, I thought about it. You know, if you preach over an hour, you you long you, you consider a long way to preach. Yeah. But you know what? What gets me is how people can sit for, on average, from the time they get up to the time they go to bed, they can sit there and watch TV uh, yeah. and never complain. Amen. But if you preach two hours, yeah. that's too long. Uh, yeah. Well, it just shows me what you like best. Uh, yeah. If we can sit for hours a day in a TV, you like TV better than you do the Word of God. Yeah. I tell you, there ain't nothing like
like the Word of God. Amen, Amen church. How many know they ain't nothing like the Word? Then go with your neighbor and tell them say they ain't nothing like the Word. Praise God. Amen, church. I appreciate it tonight, don't you? Amen. Praise God. We want you to pray much for us. We're scheduled up all this week. i got to be in Beckley. got to go to Kentucky. Things all this week. We're going to be preaching every day this week. And we've been preaching all this week. Things I, I tell you, God just greatly moved. Praise God. What we're seeing God do, people, I tell you, I believe that, that, that people are looking for a move of God. They need a move of God. And somebody got to take it to them. And I appreciate God tonight for everything, but I want to ask you a big favor tonight. I'm going to be the first one to do it. Praise God. I'm not going to ask you to do something that I wouldn't do. But we need an offering tonight for a family in this church. They have a great need. And if we could get everybody here tonight to give $20, at least $20, Then we could leave, they could be leave here tonight blessed. And I'm going to be one of the first to do it. Amen. I want, I want every one of you to can. You know what you say? Well, I can't do that. Well, you go down to the store and buy several cartons of pot. How much is a carton of pot now? About three, four dollars. If you like Pepsi, the good kind, that's about three ninety-nine for a twelve pack. Four, four ninety-nine, five dollars for that. But if you keep preaching like that, we get a house built around here, won't we? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> That's the truth. We get a house built to get run right off one, won't we? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You have to go one way or the other. So that's the only thing we can do, isn't it? Yeah. Praise God. We, we love everybody. I want you to know something tonight but, but I love we love every one of you here tonight. We appreciate you. Thank you Lord. Praise God. And we got a wonderful church. God's really moving and blessing in it. Yeah. And brother brother although I'm very pleased with the church. Thank you, Lord. I'm very pleased with it. I'm pleased with our people. Praise God that gives and, the, and, and everything that you do to better the church, we appreciate you for doing that and helping, praise God, and, and doing it willingly and cheerfully for your hearts. I appreciate Brother Burrell and his wife driving all the way from Kentucky. Yes. yes. Hey, man, you know what? That's enough right there to let you know God's doing something. Somebody uh -huh. drive all the way from Kentucky? Uh -huh. Hey, man, we can get some folks come across the street to church, can we? Amen. Praise God. But I've always said... Amen. You look at that woman in the Bible that drove over, a, uh, rode over a, a thousand miles, or about 1,200 miles, I believe it was. Amen. I don't know exactly, maybe a, a, a thousand miles, 1,200 miles, something like that. Amen. On the back of a camel, going to, 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 to attend the revival of Solomon. Yeah. She heard about it, but she said, I want to see this. Yeah. And you know what? If we keep the move of God around here, the good spirit of God, it's hard to tell how far people will come to hear this. Amen. And when she got there and seen what was going on, she said the half has not been told. Could you imagine what she went back and told her people? She said, listen, what we have here, amen, that that ain't the half of, it, of what's going on down there. Amen, church. Amen. And I know we've had some come here that don't understand the move of God. But you know what I believe? Sometimes we get a little bit upset, you know, with people going out and talking about the church that don't understand the move of God. But you know what I believe God can do? I believe God can get a hold of them very people and make, amen, one of the best members we've got. Amen. Somebody said, what do you mean? Why did Count Paul persecute the church and made havoc of it? But he made one of the greatest apostles. Yes, he did. Amen. There ever was. Amen. One of the greatest men of God, but I told there ever was. Amen. And you know what? Evidently, this must be digging at it. That little brother the other night, little uh, Ricky Brownie, he, he stopped down and talked to me and preaching. He told me, he said, 
the night that I heard you preach on the name of Jesus, he said, I hated you. He said, I hated you. He said, I, I said, there ain't no way that can be right. But he said, from that very night, he said, he laid a heavy upon my heart, and he said, I started reading the Bible. And I, he, he said, he read, and he said, God, if, 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 if that's right, he said, it has to be right. He said, well, why did, why did the apostles baptize and preach it? And he read that, and the first thing you know, he was baptized in the name of Jesus. Praise God and filled with the Holy Ghost. And now he's up there all the time calling me, I want to go with you, I want to travel with you. Where are you going? Amen. <laughs> Amen, church. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I'm going to tell you something. If we, if we know how to present what we've got, yeah. that's the thing that's wrong with us. We've got something, but we got to know how to present it. Yeah. 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 we got to know how to represent it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I appreciate God tonight, and I want wisdom here for me to how to present to you the Word of God to where you will accept it. You know a president, he can, he can word his uh, speech that he makes, and people will accept it. But, but if he puts a few words in there, that, then people will not have it. They'll say, no, we, we won't have it. But if he knows how just to word it yes. and present it, they'll take it. They'll accept it. They'll say, so be it. Praise God. Amen. So we love you tonight. Praise God. For the awesome. Appreciate you. God will bless you. Can't out give God. Uh -uh. We appreciate everybody that's come tonight. Amen. So let's pray much between now and Tuesday night. Hard tell them what God might do. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We ought to be so anxious to get here. Amen. You know what I'd, I'd like to see? I'd like to see the day that people would have to come at least by 5 o'clock to get a seat. And if you didn't come, you wouldn't get a seat. Uh -huh. to, to, see how, to see how hungry people really was for it. And if we get a real move of God, listen, folks, people are part of the old dead, dried up move of church that ain't got a move of God in it. And people are going to look for a church where there's a move of God. Amen. I love him tonight, don't you? Amen. Do you love Jesus? Amen. 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 Then stand to your feet, give him a cheer, and you can be this.